Alright, I'm still on this ladder. Let's go down and see what's down here. Oh, I don't have my light on. You didn't path ahead. Liar ahead. Awful liar ahead. Oh. Secret, oh, secret. Secret, oh, secret. Domain of Dragons painting? That's not the Domain of Dragons. The Domain of Dragons is the mountain. That's a picture of the Scotto tree. I don't get it. But anyway, secret, oh, secret. Thank you for the secret, oh, secret. Messages on the floor. Well done. Fire ahead. <clears throat> oh, really? We're doing this? <laughs> We're doing this. They actually put a coffin ride in the DLC. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, looking from the Domain of Dragons? That's where that viewpoint is? Oh, okay. It's near where you fought Bale. Gotcha. Are any of the painting rewards good in this DLC? I think you get, like, random items, right? Like, I wonder if any of them are worth doing. Where are we now? Let's find out. Where the hell are we? Where the hell are? Where the hell are we? Point of Grace. Look behind me. A bunch of work coffins. In an empty room. We do all of this. We're under... We are underneath. Oh, are we going to go here? We're going to go here. Oh, this is how you get there. Oh, cool. We saw it a zillion times. And kept wondering how to get here. Well, secret passage through. The Shadow Keep gets us here. We are. Oh my god, this looks a bunch of dead wicker men. Whoa. What's up with all the dead wicker men? I don't think I have enough to level. Ooh. Not. Horse could come now. Cool. We're in a totally new area now. Yeah. I mean, we could do this now, but don't we want to continue with Shadow Keep? I feel like we want to continue with Shadow Keep, and we should investigate this much later. This looks like it's some kind of, like, a mini dungeon or something. I don't know what's coming up. What do you guys think? I'll let the chat decide. Do you guys want me to check this area out now, or do you want to continue with Shadow Keep? I'm down for whatever. Check it out. It's a small area. It's like 50-50 right now. Alright, well, let's check it out quick. It's really quick. What is this? Is it more another dead wicker man right there? Damn, why'd all the wicker men die down here? What killed them all? There's a lot of dead ones. Ruins of Umti. I got a furnace visage from him. That's a crafting item. Umti. Another one. You get some bonus furnace vintages just by coming here. It's so dark. Ember of Mass versus all crafting items. What the fuck? Holy shit! That one's alive. And he disappeared? 
and he reappeared. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> he disappeared and reappeared. Uh. Huh. So dark. How do we get in here? There's gotta be a way in, right? More items. They're shadow people, but they're almost invisible because it's so dang dark. Fucking shit! I knew that was gonna happen. Lost Ash of War, useless. Useless. You didn't miss anything too crazy on the podcast, Jade. Some game news today that I covered. Everything's still an eight, okay. Do we, wait. Do we platform on this dude to get inside? No, it kicked me out. How the fuck do we get in here? It clips you off. What's the point of this? I can't get in? There's gotta be a way in. We've been seeing this area for a while, and you gotta think there's gotta be a fucking way in. Definitely looks like the right way, but then it's a dead end and no one put any useful stuff. Try item crafting and throwing. Oh, wait! You have to throw it in this guy? Oh, you have to throw one of those giant pots into this guy and then he'll open the door. Okay. I have one. I have literally only one. I can make another. Oh, I can make more. Oh, good. I can make a ton of these. Okay. Okay, I made like six, right? So I have to equip this now, and then I have to throw it. So how does this work? How do I target where I'm going to throw it? The pots come back after you use them. What does that mean? Kill the other one first? Why? I don't I might not even kill them. I'll just go inside and ignore them. They're not really a threat as you just ride by them. They don't really do anything. Do you I mean do you really want me to fight two wicker men right now? You know how boring that's gonna be? <laughs> you just Kobe it? I didn't know the hefty pots were reusable. Oh. Should I kill the other one? I mean... It's gonna take an hour.
I was in the air and it still killed the horse. So boring. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to summon the horse. <laughs> I'm not trying to pose. Got over it. Good. So boring. I told you how boring it is. It takes forever, forever to do. Oil soaked tear. Coats nearby enemies with oil in the mix physic. Ew, so if you use it, all the enemies near you get covered in oil? How would that work? What would that even do? <laughs> no, they're furnace visage. <clears throat> There's two of these guys still alive. The other one we have to light on fire ourselves to get him to move away from the entrance. Yeah, this is definitely the place to get the furnace visages. Tons of bonus ones here. Otherwise, you just had to kill these guys previously. Dude, it's pretty much enough for the rest of the game, I think, right? Yeah, look. Insane amounts. <laughs> A crafter's paradise. Oh, there's actually a point of grace here? Oh, this is where we came from. I thought there was a new point of grace. Okay. All right, so... We got to get back on that building and we got to toss this hefty pot into the dude, huh? Things take more fire damage when oiled up. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're going to kill this guy. I think we'll, we'll make him alive and then go inside and ignore him. I really don't feel like killing another one of these. Unless you guys know if the 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 tier I'll get for the the physic flask is gonna be worth it, then I'll kill him. Otherwise, it's too boring. It takes too fucking long.
What do we have here? A church? A church? It's like a, it's like a shawl on it or something. Can I climb? I revived him. Why was he so mean to me? I gave him life from death. And for that, he took my life. Maybe he wanted to stay dead. He's just very upset that I revived him. He wanted to stay dead. What an asshole. Stone sheathed sword. We got a new weapon. Anything on the other side before I go in? Oh, it's the wild animal. Guess we go in. Giant golden axe. So first of all, the stone sheathed sword is pure strength dex build. It's a straight sword. A sword that none can pull from its scabbard of cracked stone. Relic of a lost civilization from a time long past. Said to have served a ritual purpose of altars of light and darkness. Looks familiar. Right? It looks familiar to me. Hmm. I feel like it's been in another Dark Souls game or something. And this is a reference. Maybe I'm wrong. You know? And then we have the Giant Golden Axe spell. Sorcery of the Inquisitors of the Tower. Wielded as an incantation of the spiral. A swing of the arm releases a giant golden arc. Charging enhanced potency. The arc resembles a barb. A known symbol of coercive questioning. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's arc, not axe. Oh, I was... I read it as Giant Golden Axe at first. Uh... I just think Golden Axe in my head because of the video game. It can be transformed into a different sword. This should be marked as new, correct? In my inventory, because I want to look at it. Stone sword. I got to find it, though. Not marked as new. Why not? Why is the sword not marked as new in my inventory? See it anywhere? Where the fuck is it? I passed it. Where is it? It's not marked. It's not marked as new like it's supposed to be. Uh, where is it? Not inseparable sword. Nope. What is it? <laughs> it's in straight swords? Stone sheathed sword. Okay, how would you transform it? You have to find a different altar and it transforms the sword? Oh. Okay. So we can't do it from here. Later in the somewhere else in this DLC, you transform this sword. Maybe it becomes super good. All right. It's a two-parter, huh? Okay. Uh, thank you, Apple Goblin, for a super chat. It says, praise the rump. Thank you, Apple Goblin. Yes, praise the rump indeed. It probably smells. All right. So I'm being told if I follow the river south, it takes you to a secret catacomb that takes you to a new area of the map. 
You don't really want me to fight this guy, do you guys? It's so boring. Oh, yeah, and unless he drops a really good tier, I don't want to waste time on it. So unless you guys know he drops a good tier, I'm not going to waste it. For the record, Lucy already told me about this catacomb 10 times, so... <laughs> I just got runes. I don't even know why. What did he kill? He killed something. There's nothing even there. You get a tier that raises attack power by 20%, but drains your HP by 1% a second? Oh, I don't want that. Bomb Killer says, we use the double swords from the boss. You know, I said I was going to. I never got around to it, but maybe I will. What is this? A new point of grace, huh? I probably will. I'm already abandoning the poise build at this point. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta fix my physic flask because I don't need the guard uh, shit anymore. For now, anyway. I might go back to it. I don't need the deflecting hammer tier bullshit. Uh, let's see. Holy attacks, maybe? Or fire, either one, because I'm using fire and holy. What do you think? Holy or fire? Try the oil one because you have a fire weapon. Put everything around me in oil. Would it even work on bosses, though? I don't know if this would work on bosses. I don't know. I'll, all right, I'll give it a shot just to see what it does. <laughs> see you later, Jay Stan. So, uh, I guess we go this way. I can't, I don't think I go with the water, I'll die, right? Oh shit, I almost fell right there. Nice platforming. back here before we keep going. Yes. Fly mold. Oh, I'm so glad I came back here. You maggots in his spit. Can't go across, which sucks. It looks like there's stuff over there. But I can't jump across from here. Aha! A new point of grace. <laughs> You're being so silly. I'm well aware of the dual swords and how I know how they work with the dual stances. I saw them already. Like I said I'm probably going to use them eventually. But where am I now? The Recluse River downstream. We're right here. Keep going? Bow required ahead. Oh, there's a pot hanging there. I see. So we can go down. But haven't we already been down there? I feel like we've already been down there. Maybe I'm wrong. No, I don't think we have. 
Actually, I don't think we have. I think we're going to go down there. We're going to look around. And we're going to find stuff. Because I don't think we've ever been down this water area yet. No. Uh, thank you, Spawn Killer, for that super chat. Let me get you on the leaderboard. The only bummer is... We didn't get to do the other way. There was stuff over there. And we didn't find it, right? Where we have a group? Oh, wait, there's more this way? There is more this way. A strong foe ahead. Wow, they really did stack this DLC with shit. Like, this is a completely hidden path that you would not see if it wasn't tagged. Look carefully ahead. There's got to be something down there. By the way, there's a ring guy. That's the tough enemy that they're warning you of, huh? The ring guy. Nonsense. Stupid shit. They just all keep crowding you and you can't do anything about it. Great. Piss me off, fucking stupid game, wasting my time. Your bullshit. Village of the Flies. Horn bullshit. <laughs> Man fly ashes. Shadow Realm Room. Can't move. I was stuck on this tree. I'm fucking serious. That fucking tree just killed me. That stupid tree. I couldn't move at all. I was locked into the tree. And the game would not allow me to fucking move out of its way. This fucking game is something else, man. Seriously, this game is something else. 
Any other game, people would complain about that and be like, that's unacceptable. What stupid physics? What dumb nonsense? Fix that shit. Everyone's like, oh, FromSoft, great, amazing. Can I suck uh, Miyazaki's balls some more today, please? Yes, let me, please put your testicles right in my mouth. Thank you, Miyazaki. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so I don't know if there's actually anything in this village of flies. Don't jump. Like, I haven't found a single thing worth getting in this village yet. I got a blessing item? I did? I got a Skadu Tree blessing item there? I didn't even see it. I didn't even know I picked it up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I got Manfly Ash. Yeah, I did not get a Skadu Tree blessing. That's not true. The spirit one? Yeah, who cares about that? Who cares about summoning fucking fly spirits? Anyway, go this way. Looks like it. Okay. This is the only way to get here. It was a dead end otherwise. following me. They won't leave me alone. What the fuck? What's hitting me? This one's still alive? This is precious item ahead, but there's nothing down there. You can see it's death. my hell <sighs> oh my god this area man for jumping. Well, that was a hell of a ride. I really hope that there is a secret area in the, over here and it was worth the, the ride because that was crazy to get down here. Visions of mist, you dick. Visions of mist. What a gorgeous view. What a gorgeous view. A gorgeous view. Oh, uh, no, this is a dead end. That's not what we're supposed to do. Ahead. Oh. 
Okay. So, we got a hidden catacombs that's going to lead us probably to a new area. I can't wait to do this. Dark light catacombs. It's going to be absolutely thrilling. Super unique. Everything new. Very exciting. Fucking stupid catacomb to get to another area of the game. Ay, ay, ay. Sure, 500 runes. 500 runes. Right hand armament would go up by three, left hand by four. Actually, so strength is better. Yep. Can't wait to do this dungeon, everyone. I'm so excited. I literally can't move. I literally could not move. The game wouldn't let me roll, run, jump, or do anything. I was just stuck. Great gameplay mechanics, right? Does the lever stay in effect, or do I have to pull it again? Does anyone know? It stays on? Good. Just in case.
No, I don't give two fucks about these catacombs. They're too boring, too confusing. I don't care. I'm running right through it. I don't give a shit. I'm just beating it so I can get to whatever's actually good at the end of it. I don't care about finding any items in it whatsoever. The other way was too obvious. Wow! Ghost Glove Warp 4 is my reward, huh? I can't move. The other way was way too obvious. And I was correct. The other way was the wrong way. Here's the correct way to go. <laughs> I knew it. I saw the door to the left. I was like, that's way too obvious. That's not the way to go. I knew it. This better be the end. That was four different lifts we've hit already. This better be the end of it. It is. Sweet. Oh, you're Inquisitor, huh? Who are you inquisiting? Fuck! 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 This is interesting. can't move. I'm stuck on the stupid coffin. Come on. Almost had him. Stupid coughing got in my way. It fucked me up. <clears throat> this is a cool boss. This is unique. I like this boss. Super unique magic build boss. What the fuck? That's totally what I wanted to do.
I love how I'm right next to him and I swing. And my swing goes through him and never touches him. I love that. You're right next to the boss with two insanely giant great hammers and you're swinging and somehow it's not connecting with the giant enemy in front of you. You gotta love that about Elden Ring and Dark Souls. I'm not pressing the button. Very nice. Barbed Staff Spear. 260,000 runes? 260,000 runes for that guy. Really? Holy guacamole. <laughs> well, look where we are. Great Spear. Standard Pierce, Strength, Dex, and Faith. Causes Blood Loss Buildup. Great Staff of Jory, Elder Inquisitor. The tip bristles with golden barbs, symbolic of the Inquis Inquisition's torture, allowing one to wield the staff as a Great Spear. Attacks deal holy damage, and potency increases with Faith. Unique skill, Jory's Inquisition. Thrust the Great Staff into the air, firing off a success succession of golden barb-like arcs. Pulling the button down extends the barrage for a short duration. Okay. <clears throat> cool. I think we're going to level. And, uh... Darziak says, See the map? Mark it with a waypoint. A beacon. So that we can get to it. Look, there's water there. We have to go around that water, it looks like. But where are we? I guess we're about to find out what this is called, huh? So, strength, still giving me three and four. Faith, three and three. Go for strength. All right. Well, I guess we will go ride to the to the map right now. Oh, you can't use your horse? Yes, you can. They lie. What happened? Hello, Jack Anderson. Thanks for 28 months of support as a member. Horse? Where are we at madness? What is going on? It says you can... Oh. Oh, this is weird. What is happening? All I wanted to do is get the map. I don't think we're getting it. Is it another boss? We're in the dark, crazy parts of the DLC, I think. Now you can't use it. It doesn't work. Abyssal Woods. Oh boy. Seems fun. I want to go home. No horse in the Abyssal Woods. 
Don't let it see you. Once you are seen, there is no escape. It cannot even be touched. What? The spectral seed is frightened and cannot be summoned. What is in these woods? What the fuck? Woodland Trail. I just want the map, and then I'm going back to Shadowkeep. We'll do this later. I just want the map. Let's see. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, I'm going to start my new attack. You lose. Some good gameplay. <laughs> That's some really interesting top-level gameplay right there. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. His name was Matting Hand, and he gave me a Matting Hand. So everyone in these woods is crazy. They all have the flame frenzy. And they all cause you to have flame frenzy. Okay. of the abyss got a point of grace the abandoned church good run right so now let's take a look at the map this is the abyss they call it huh and it looks like from the abyss you can go under this and go to this other area as well that we saw previous but we couldn't actually get down there. Now it looks like we can go around and get down there. So I guess the question is, what is here? We have no clue, right? We have the whole map done, which is cool. We now see the entire DLC. Right? This was the base of the Skidoo tree. Yep. Skidoo! Well, I say here's what we do. Let's grab this item. And then I think I want to finish... Shadow key, and then we could come back here later. Skidoo tree fragment times two. I got two fragments. It's obvious there's a ton of shit here, right? Giant area. There's probably tons of stuff to do. Frenzy flame perfume bottle. For what I'm gonna understand, all the perfume bottles have been massively nerfed. That when they first put them in, when the DLC came out two weeks ago, they were incredibly powerful, and so FromSoft and all their wisdom nerfed it right away. So now they suck. Apparently, they're not very good anymore. So isn't that nice? Okay. We're now up to 12 Skidoo Tree Blessings. Uh, Alright, like I said, I think we will come back here later. 
I want to. Obviously, we were in Shadow Keep. We did this big distracting quest to get here. We now have this part unlocked. Cool. I definitely want to check it out later. But I want to go back to what we were doing. Um. Damn, we didn't even get a new waypoint at the main gate plaza. We got so distracted with what we were doing that we went down that ladder, remember? And we got to the water area. That got us to the to the river. That got us to the catacombs. That got us to here. But we never even got a new place to unlock, so we got to go back. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we don't, have another, we don't have another point of grace yet. <laughs> okay. Double M says, it was so broken, you could one-shot some of the DLC bosses so they fixed the bug on it so it works now. Okay. All right. Well, Shadow Keep continues next. Cool.